Hello, this is Crafty Crafty, and today we are playing another episode of Great Tech New Horizons Season 2. And in this episode, we're gonna do a lot of chemical stuff. Actually, what we're gonna do is first part is simple. We're just going to move everything here to this building and especially half of this wall will be on demand instead of passive and after that the oil and i have to uh, close this here uh, this side here and also i moved the panels because it was a bit hard to hit yeah and now it is super easy after that also one more thing that I put Wajra in the second spot and Healing Knights in the first spot. Because I was constantly uh, fearing I would break something accidentally. Yeah, that's the update. Other than that, I'm just going to craft a lot of things and play some stuff. And since a lot of things are going to be auto-crafted. Uh, most of them are have to be connected to the main network. So either one or two P2P tunnels have to be connected to this room. Yay! And still, I'm going to have some passive thingy. So we will have a sub-network here too. And this is going to be our auto-crafting uh, thingy-majiggy area. This entire row will be auto-crafting, uh, designated to auto-crafting. So yeah, and let's look at our structure. Uh, it is much more simple, by the way, because all we need is some input hatches and input buses and outputs at input bus. Uh, output hatch and input hatch. And yeah, th that's all. And energy. So, uh, well, maintenance hatch, thingy majiggy, uh, in the front, input hatch, in the back, uh, input bus. And in between them, there is energy hatch. So, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna place the conduits. And okay, fluid conduits. And in back, item conduits. After that, the energy connection. And the last part should be this. No boom. Yes, no boom. Voila. Now, if I do this, that's ethylene, and polyethylene, sorry, and if I send it here, oxygen fills, and ethylene starts filling, and yep, we are crafting. That's all. That's all we need. And everything else is going to be moved here. Now, we automated the polyethylene, so we will automate all the other things here. And another issue is our drill, uh, well, uh, fluid drill, exhausts its resources, so... It is Mars type. And salt water back online. And this is how it looks like. Uh, this area is the certain normal circuit auto crafting area. Uh, this is the. Uh, those are the wafers and those are the circuit components. And let's come here. Those are the passive ones. Yeah, I think that's that's all we need. Uh, but I realized we have a small problem. Uh, well, I tried to use... Uh, let's come here. 
I tried to use level maintainer. It is broken. I either going to use uh, open computers for level maintaining, which would be easy actually, or I would, well, for now temporarily add some more chemical reactors. And for the next part, we are doing something interesting. Those are uh, industrial cocoa ones, basically amped up version of this guy, and this is the amped up, amped up version of the regular old cocoa one. So yeah, we are amping up something that we already amped up. I don't know. I think that th this guy is the last step. So yeah, we're gonna do that and. What's my plan is, well, these two will be uh, biomass, those two will be charcoal byproducts, maybe I will add this, two, this guy too, and these two are random stuff. One of them will be, well, doing the charcoals. Uh, we're gonna recook the charcoals itself for coal tar. Actually, we can get coal tar from uh, Linear too. Actually, nah, nah. Actually, wait a second. I'm getting some lignets from bees. I might actually use this. Anyway, coal tar is actually not going to be. Actually, it's going to be used because I'm going to uh, we'll automate some rocket stuff. So yeah, uh, let me just think, think about that. Also, I have to set up a macerator thing my GT2. And the benzene production is back online. Except for this part, and I don't know why it's... Okay, it is working. I just need to do that. Anyway, yeah, uh, the benzene production is back online. And yeah, with our new system, this farm is only providing wood for those guys. And yeah, the industrial cocoa one. And if I do the batch mode, would it be faster? And Oh, yeah, 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 that, that's a problem. Anyway, this is currently how we are doing. Doing the output hatch. Outputs to this fluid tank. And it's a buffer. And it's connected to a P2P tunnel. And it is going down here and connected to this. And those three guys are also connected to P2P tunnels which directly connects to those. And everyone else uses their own uh, fluid buffers and with a precon... Okay, it's now detecting. Okay. A CO2 gas, yes. okay, ethylene, and I'd say, yeah, they're connected to... They're connected with storage buses. So, yeah, this is the benzene production, back online, with a better implementation, and did I, yeah, you, I removed you, and I don't need those guys anymore. Yep, and I upgraded the super tanks. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a much better. Way. And also, we removed the entire cable thingy majigi from here. I will remove this guy, those guys too. And also remove the cable thingy majigi from here too. And I will reorganize it a bit. Now, let's focus on the other stuff. Now, what we are going to do is. Coal tar parts will be the last, and uh, yeah, fermented biomass. That's going to be simple. 
Uh, all I need to do is craft a bunch of compressors. Yeah, that's what I have to do. Craft a bunch of compressors and the, red, the other two stuff, actually, other three stuff are here. And then I have to distill the, this guy. I will probably place at the end of the line. Here. Yeah. That seems reasonable. And it's going to be a... Yeah, it's going to use all... Actually, more than eight channels. So, yeah. I have to do something. Actually, come to think of it, the acetic acid, ethanol, methanol, CO2 gas, and methane gas. All of them are getting used somewhere else. I already stored somewhere else. CO2. And that's it. So methane gay, I guess. Acetic acid. Ethanol. Methanol. Acetone. Acetone. Acetate. Yeah. Yeah, we already stored them somewhere else. So I just do the same thing here. Yeah. Let me just craft a bunch of compressors. And now the biomass system is also back online. And yeah, uh, the bottleneck is currently the compressors. I will probably in the future upgrade to a multi-block one. But yeah, it is working and I don't need it to work constantly. So it's okay for me. And yeah, you're waiting. <laughs> you're waiting for your guys an amount of those guys might be a bit overkill did i just saw a dying pig okay that's interesting uh, apparently ham corp tries to haunt us anyway now the compressors are getting from this M interface and they're routing back to it, and this guy connects with storage buses. So that this and its upgrade is just going there. And after that, we have another P2P tunnel connected to here, and also for firm, uh, fertilizers, we have a drawer, and I will connect to it the main uh, to the main network. So yeah, the, the, the wall is, this wall is done. Now, let's start with the oil processing. But the main problem with it, I don't know how I'm going to do the extra fluid extraction. Actually, I can do the menu all the way. Like the compressors, or should I make the multi-block one? But this multi-block is, again, expensive. Uh, especially on the tungsten steel, so... I will do... I will try something, and since I'm not using oil for... Uh, power production yet, I'm planning something on it. But I'm currently not using, so yeah. And this area will be for oil cracking. Yeah, let's go to work. And this process is also done. Uh, actually, we gonna add some more stuff, but I will just... Well, plan something according to that. You will be overflown, and yeah. We store naft uh, heavy fuel, light fuel, nafta, Refinery gas and naphtic acid here, but uh, we have uh, quadruple pipes here, which connected to a P2P tunnel, and that P2P goes to there. And yep, uh, we, into a quad input hatch, <laughs> and that quad input hatch uh, runs this guy, and this guy requires. Well, hydrogen. 
and it produces hydrogen sulfide. But if I put this guy into a uh, electrolyzer, I get my hydrogen back and also get some sulfur. And I forget something. A drawer. From here, I will also gonna add a void upgrade to him. Well, yeah, we also have free sulfur. So yeah, and we also producing nephtic acid. This is not uh, required right now. It will be needed eventually. Uh, for let's show yeah Kevlar producing <laughs> yeah Kevlar producing this is going to be used for Kevlar and I'm just storing it for now it's just some extra step and these two guys are well hydrocracked light fuel and heavy fuel producing and why you are not giving me do i am i out of hydrogen i don't think so no we're gonna need more upgrades okay you are slow and no problem no problem i will i, I might uh, find another solution for it Anyway, this entire system works. I'm also going to do something with this guy. I don't know. I don't know what will be the best way of handling this. Yeah. Uh, well, it, we might use this. Yeah, anti, anti knock agent, and it will produce. Hog. High, oct high octane gasoline. And yeah, it would be a bo boon to our uh, power production. Yeah, we might use it. Anyway, in this episode, we overhaul our. Uh, by the way, also, we are getting oil from these. <laughs> yeah, oil propolis. So I think I'm gonna need some upgrades to those guys. Yeah, they are not fast enough. Actually, they are fast enough. Yeah, the, this guy is full. So yeah, uh, they are fast enough. Anyway, uh, benzene, benzene production, oil production, and uh, cracking. We're gonna add... I, we might gonna add some more cracking, but this is going to be the cracking area. Uh, this is extra stuff. And this room is macerator, compressor, and uh, not compressor, centrifuge, compressors, fluid extractors, and also we get yeah, uh, light fuel for uh, directly fuel from this, but I didn't activate it yet. So yeah, we got a lot of stuff that we get now. We are processing now. And next episode, we're gonna move to rocket fuel since we have... By the way, I can now remove all of you from my bookmarks. Yeah, we're gonna do this line. It's gonna take a lot of a lot of uh, effort and research but we have a lot of areas anyway this is and remember to resist to your oppressive governments guys <laughs>